The C-SPAN networks bring you long-form public affairs programming from the nation's capital and are a public service of your television provider. C-SPAN, created by cable. Mr. President, working people in our great country are tired of being ripped off by really rich people, some who are billionaires, some who claim they're billionaires. During the financial crisis, Wall Street took Main Street to the cleaners. Oh, did it hurt the state of Nevada. All of Nevada, Reno, Las Vegas, clobbered rural Nevada. American families lost their savings, their, likely, their livelihoods, their businesses, because of the greed of a few. The last thing the American people want or need is a president who will run another financial scam on each of them. If elected Donald Trump would be the scammer in chief, Trump is a fraud. That's a word that I chose. He was born with an inheritance but lost his daddy's wealth. Mr. President, that is why Donald Trump won't release his tax returns. That's certainly one of the reasons, of course. He is not worth nearly as much as he claims to be. That's a secret he doesn't want anyone to know. He wants everyone to think he's this big, rich, rich man. We know that Trump lies about his money. I'm not making that up. He once admitted he assesses his net worth on a whim. This is what he said during one of his many, many depositions, which is a, it's a court proceeding where you gather evidence. And he's appeared before many for his deposition. But this is what he said on one occasion, on his many sworn statements. Here's what he said. Of course, I, I keep stressing, this is one of the multitude of lawsuits to which he has been party. And I quote, this is Donald Trump talking. My net worth fluctuates, and it goes up and down with markets, and with attitudes and with feelings, even with my own feelings, close quote. Simply put, Trump is faking his net worth because he doesn't want us to know that he's not a good businessman. and He's not as rich as he would have us believe. Donald Trump's business record speaks for itself. He's ruined company after company, hotel after hotel. Over the last couple of decades, we know of at least six of his companies that have gone into bankruptcy. Trump's other business ventures, such as Trump Steaks, yeah, there was really one, Trump Steaks, those things you eat, Trump Magazine, those things you read, and Trump University, those places you're supposed to be educated. They were all financial flops. Trump claims to be as tight in the real estate industry, but the Washington Post has reported on more than one occasion he doesn't crack the list of major real estate players in New York City, let alone the country. Earlier this year, the New York Times reported that Trump has such a bad business reputation that banks don't wish to, wish to lend him money anymore. In lieu of real business success, Donald Trump resorts to scams like Trump University. That is, he's done some doozies, but that's uh, one of the best, the best scams. Now, at Trump University, he ripped off everyone from students in real estate to retirees looking to invest their savings. Trump University is under investigation by the New York Attorney General's Office. He's the defendant in other class action lawsuits. Why? Because he cheated people, cheated them. Litigation is nothing new to Donald Trump. Over the last decade and a half, Trump and his companies have been sued in federal court 72 times. That doesn't take into consideration the many times he's been sued in state courts. 72 federal cases, many more times in state courts. But Trump, being the flim flammer he is, just moves on to another scheme. He even cheats charities. He has a charity. 
a broad definition of a charity. It's called the Trump Foundation. Trump started his charity because he's desperate to get invited to fancy parties and be seen with these uh, people who give their own money. And he seeks acceptance among the wealthy. Since 2008, Trump has not donated a single penny to his own charity, the Trump Foundation. Does he have money to donate? Well, he says he should, but he doesn't. Americans are far more generous, even though they have, they have, they're modestly of means, but they contribute generously to charities every day, but not the Donald. No. Instead, he goes to other individuals and charities and asks them to donate to his foundation. The Trump Foundation is as much the charity as is Donald Trump's personal ATM machine. Trump uses the money he gets from other charities to buy himself gifts. Four years ago, Trump paid $12,000 of charity resources to buy a football helmet signed by Tim Tebow. Tim Tebow, I'm sure, is a fine man. His college career was terrific. Heisman Award winner. His professional career was kind of wasn't, wasn't so good. But everybody, everything I know about the man, he's a good person. Now he's playing, he's 29 years old, and with his great uh, physical attributes, he's trying it at baseball. He hasn't played baseball since he was in high school, but high school he had almost 500 his last year in high school. And I, I hope he does well. But here's the deal with the helmet. If Trump wants to buy Tim Tebow's helmet, or Willie Mays' bat, or Ernie Banks' glove, whatever, whatever he wants to buy, um, that's his right. But should he use his own money, but not Donald Trump? No. He didn't use his money to buy Tim Tebow's helmet. He didn't use his checkbook to buy the memorabilia. Instead, he used the Trump Foundation charity money, money that was supposed to be given to somebody that needed help. $12,000, a big shot, bidding on a helmet. But it's not his money. It's, it's charity's money. The Internal Revenue Service calls this sort of thing self-dealing. Self-dealing is when a person spends charity money on themselves. It's against the law. It's illegal. But Trump, Trump doesn't care about what the law is. If he doesn't, if he doesn't uh, if he doesn't uh, have the money himself, which obviously he doesn't, uh, then he uses other people's money. Other people's money put in his charity, and he spends it on himself. So this is who Republicans want to be our president. <clears throat> this is who Republicans, even S Leader McConnell, Speaker Ryan, want this man to prepare a budget for our country. <clears throat> Trump can't be trusted with his own charity. And are we supposed to believe that he can manage the nation's treasury, provide money for our armed services? or Homeland Security. This is a man who uses charities to bilk even police officers, even police officers. <clears throat> In 2009, Donald Trump asked the Charles Evans Foundation for a donation to his charity, to the Trump Foundation. Trump told him he needed the money to donate to the Palm Beach, Florida Police Foundation. They gave Trump $150,000. They gave it to his charity. Donald Trump took that money and gave it to the Palm Beach Police Foundation. He didn't match it with a dime of his own. Trump took the Charles Evans Foundation money and donated it as for his own. But here's where the story gets even more absurd, even worse. What kind of a man is this person running for president? Well, this is a little slight indication. 
when the Palm Beach, Beach Police Foundation wanted to use Trump's South Florida resort to honor him for this gift he gave. Remember, the gift was from somebody else, but he claimed credit for it. Trump charged them for the event, for the room, for the food. It's estimated that Palm Beach Police Foundation paid the Trump Hotel operation $200,000 to honor himself. Donald Trump ran a hustle on many different charities that netted his resort money. And he didn't spend a penny of his own money along the way. Trump never worries about being caught because he financially rewards the people who would investigate the racket that he's perpetuated. For example, in 2013, the Attorney General of Florida, Pam Bondi, announced that she was going, joining the New York investigation into Trump University. That went away. The investigation went away quickly. Four days after announcing the probe, Donald Trump sent her $25,000 to her campaign. The Attorney General announced almost immediately it would not be investigating Trump University. It wouldn't join with the state of New York. And guess what money Trump used to persuade the Attorney General to change your mind? Was it his money? Oh, no. Money from his charity? You got it. Of course, that's illegal, but he did it anyway. He got credit for, from the Attorney General of Florida. How can Senator McConnell and Speaker Ryan continue to endorse this man? How can Republicans continue to close their eyes to the fact that this swindler is running for president and he's ripping off the American people and our government? This Republican Congress has spent millions of your tax dollars on political hit jobs masquerading as investigations. Untold amounts of money on Benghazi, on emails. And they found nothing, of course, zero. And they've acknowledged that. So I've got another job for them. Why don't they investigate Donald Trump? They could do it quickly. They're all set to do this. They don't mind spending taxpayer dollars. All this investigation of the Clinton operation has always been taxpayer dollars. They should take a cue, though, I think, from the Attorney General of the State of New York and hold Trump accountable for scamming charities, the IRS, and the American people. Donald Trump desperately wants people to believe that he's a brilliant, rich, rich businessman. In reality, he's a silver spoon toting fraud who would never make it in the real world without his father's money. That's why Trump's entire business career has been one scam after another. Whether it's Atlantic City, where he cheated everybody, got rich at the expense of others. If there was one reason that Atlantic City's gone downhill, and it has, Donald Trump. He's always looking for a mark, some victim for one of his schemes, because he's incapable of making money honestly. Now, our country is Trump's next target. He wants this to be his biggest payoff ever.